<laughs> hey, howdy, hey, Bat family and uh, people of the internet. Wolfman47 Dash here, and welcome to the 100th subscriber special video. So, um, as you might recall, as some of you who have been subscribed to me for a while will remember, um, some mistakes were made when I initially played Batman Arkham Asylum and various other games. Sometimes things just didn't record for whatever reason, and other times they did, and they stopped suddenly at a very crucial moment. Um, I've since learnt those lessons, and I've learnt that for games such as Batman Arkham Asylum, it's best to make sure that the recording software is actually recording what you want it to record. So, for this on this occasion, because it's a special video, um, I am going to play this game with the camera on, with me in Bat as Batman, and just play the game from the point that we left off from last time which ended up didn't, not recording in the end and because it, the game is a bit funny with save files yeah you know the rest so yeah so we're gonna hopefully take two of um, the final part of Arkham Asylum um, I'll say it's been a blast playing this game again um, this year and yeah see how we go and um, because I'm now doing um, these videos with me doing commentary, I am going to challenge myself. And the challenge is that um, I'll just play the game as much as I can, but every time I get a game over, I will remove a piece of clothing until until at least the bat, the Batman mask is still still on. So yeah, and um, and you might see some references to my other two video stuff that I've used in my videos before, but uh, we'll see how we go. All right, let's get to it. There we go. Got it on screen there. <laughs> If you're playing the PC version of this game, this is what you get. Sometimes PC versions you get um, the AMD or NVIDIA um, logos appear as well. So yeah, All right, let's do this. So on this one. first it's not down here Joker says the bat's got a storeroom or cave he's here keep hitting him It's okay. I've got the mold samples. I'm heading to the Batcave to mix up the antidote. Good. I'd tell you to hurry, but I'm sure you know what you're doing. Contact me in the cave if you need anything. Uh, still, still this kind of cool. It was an amazing that, um, multiple things, not just the PC, PC and the Ultimate Universe and that's these games, but... The island changed little over the years. Its reputation was in tatters, but I vowed to fix it. As the buildings were rebuilt, I saw the future. A bright, wonderful future. Now, Scan and open. Now I should point out that I am a bang of game here. It's not for me to save that, so um, I previously did the playthrough on no, this is finally playthrough that I'm doing. 
by now. But at the point where the, the um, game failed to record. So you get to see how it all ends in this first game. How close are you to making the cure? Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Thank God. Her plans have reached the Gotham River. to see through the trap and yada yada and yada 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 everybody tries to get a piece of the Batman now how am I supposed to get out of here um, this way is blocked by plants I need to find another way out so this is the uh, so this is at the point of the game where Poison Ivy has basically taken a lot of Titan formula and wants to really destroy the island with her with her plants. Um, that and the Joker's nearly finished his big master plan as well. So yeah. yeah. Of all the Arkham games, this is probably the lowest rated one nowadays because of the stuff that we can do in the other games, because it's a bit confined to this one. But compared to the other and compared to the other games, yeah, this one's very confined and very restrictive and also very linear as well in story, but the only thing that we can do that's not part of the story is finding the Chronicles of Arkham things and and all Riddler's challenges. And then the later games you get is a bit more freedom. There's still a story to play but you also get to do side quests and other things as well. Including finding more Riddler challenges to do and another another way of collecting and so forth. So yeah. I still think it's wrong for um, Warner Brothers to not even think about packaging uh, Arkham Origins in the um, in these many reissues of the of the games because okay sure it's also made by Rocksteady but it's still, but and may not have been as successful as the other games but it, people still love it so and it has gained a cult cult following um yeah hey oh hey oh they're lost they're lost.
a sudden, uh, we're back to this point. Oh, that's Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I think we got it this time. Go back into the back cave there, but uh, did I be trying to take any armor? That's not really possible. won't get that far. My antidote will stop them and Ivy. I hope you're right. I'm here if you need me. I always found it interesting that in the first game, yeah you get the typical battle going on and all that, but uh, Alfred doesn't make an appearance until the second game. Oracle, we've got another problem. What now? Two-Face? Riddler? Some kind of giant Joker robot? Unfortunately, nothing that simple. I'm at the main sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted with Titan. Why? What's he doing now? I'll look into it. seems to be corrosive, yeah. but it shouldn't trouble the suit. What have you found out? I'm not sure you're ready for this. No, but go ahead. Joker's pumping all the waste products on the Titan process into that chamber. It acts as a kind of natural storage tank. Once it's full, it releases the water into the Gotham River. Normally, it's safe, but... But this time it's full of Titan. How do I stop it? I'm working on it. <laughs> reach Gotham. Are you sure, Batman? Get a move on! Oh! 
course it's only stretching to the other places. Not a chance. New brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came, and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city, and the city would thank us. That's the first bump disabled. Great. Only two more to find. That's why you need to do that sign. You need to take care of them. Okay. Oh, okay.
It's the... Sometimes it gets in weird random places and it doesn't quite, you know, figure out if that's a knockout or what. Anyway, maybe not. You do not listen to me! I said stop opportunity! Oh, I'm hurting you! Then what? I held him upside down and beat the crap out of him. Got him. Did he pay up? Nah, he's spinning on the back. <laughs> 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 the second pump shut off. Just one more to go. That's pump three disabled. I'm going to head back up to the surface and track down Ivy. Get in touch if you need anything. Thanks, this Batman has. I know it feels unlimited, but I'll just feel it should have a limit how many you can get. I know you're down there. Ruining my plans? Oh, hey, there you are! I'm sending down a token of my displeasure. Oh gosh, I hope it doesn't hurt you too badly.
a super. Well, I didn't have play in later games. So it's probably good. Reason. My family's killer stood in front oh, of I did. me. Yeah, I just Years of therapy have deemed him safe. I was proud to see him walk free. In exchange for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park, how he longed to feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's mountain bed and killed my secretary. As he was subdued, he screamed out, pleading for forgiveness, for pity. But I had none. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. Establishes itself as part of the Arkham verse, so yeah, some man does exist. Or is meant to exist. Yeah, yeah let's go. Ivy's getting stronger. I need to stop her now. I think she's still in the gardens where you left her, but she'll be in control of it now. You'll be walking into a trap. That's what she thinks. Should be going to see Ivy, but first I want to pay a visit to to my psychiatrist. This island belongs to me now. Therapist, very wonderful. Yes. You had to go visit the Joker a lot in in the game, so in this uh, particular area. I once went to a psychiatrist. Doc, I said. Every time I get into bed, I think there's somebody under it. I get under the bed, I think there's somebody on top of it. I was going crazy, so I cured myself. I cut the legs off my bed, and then the doctor <laughs> slept fine ever since. Sometimes I wonder if the joke is actually in there, or is it, or it's just him. His mental image being shown or something. Either way, very, very unsettling, I'm sure. Right, back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go find Ivy. Ivy definitely had a very interesting part, but okay, she, appear, she appears as a just decides to find herself caught in the middle of Batman's battle against Joker. Um, then she appears as an enemy to have ally to Cavalry in the second game. And then she doesn't appear at all in Arkham Origins as far as I can remember. And then in, in Arkham Knight she's she what do you think you can do, Batman? Sort of I am everywhere. My babies know your every move. You and your kind are arrogant enough to think you can destroy You will fail, and we, we will become the most powerful force on the planet. Just delaying the inevitable. Oh, I didn't see anything. Oh, that you only meant well, but 
what you did, mm, what you say. Mm, that it's all for the best, because it ain't. You will pay for hurting my babies. Oh god, is she ever some going on about those plants of hers? <laughs> when I finish with Batman, I'll be coming after you. Will you really? Oh, that's gratitude, is it? Hmm. That will give him friends. And he still turns on you. Well, good luck to you, Toots. I got an army, a city-sized dose of titans. Come and find me when you're done with that raid. Ooh, it'll be fun! Snipers being snipers, you test my stomach for snipers. I they are very powerful. It's rude to keep a girl waiting, Batman. Yeah, I'm gonna do horses. I can't spot. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with the place? My babies are growing, Batman. Come and see. Such rich food for my babies. Are you ready for me? Do you think you can handle me? I'm waiting in here. Come to me.
I'm just through here, waiting for you. Sometimes I wonder if that's an invitation for sex or some other... I've got myself a little security, Batman. With this being poison ivy. They'll just die if anything happens to me. Destroy it, Batman. I told you to go to your cell. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were involved, growing stronger.
spring was a Psychiatrist, aka Joker. <laughs> Are you excited, Bats? I mean, we've been building up to this point all night. Don't tell me you've not been looking forward to it. I know I have. Surprise! <sighs> <laughs> Everyone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this, really. It'll be a blast. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Three. Two. One! Didn't you stop Batman? Uh, oh. Me? It was your plan, you goofy <laughs> clown! <laughs> Scarface the puppet. Oh. Uh, ah. I'm sending you back to the ventriloquist where you belong. You had to spoil everything, didn't you? Beating up Bane, feeding Scarecrow to Croc, slapping around Harley, my hobby by the way, and ruining all my lovely venom plants. It's over, Joker. Over? Why, my dear delusional Dark Knight, it hasn't even begun. <laughs>
of a prize. Your old pal, Commissioner Gordon. Uh. Say, he looks all run down. Let's pep him up. No! Uh. Batman! <laughs> Get away! Ooh, here we go. We're gonna have some fun now. Kiddies. You're trying to resist the change. That's not fair. Uh, Come on, get in. Uh, so, you want to play hardball, bats? Do you? Your call. <laughs> pickle, pickle. No. Oh. oh, you're ruining my big night. Months of planning down the crapper. I just wanted to bring down your grim facade and for once let you see the world as I see it, giggling in a corner and bleeding. But you've denied me even that. I have nothing to live for. So <laughs> staff at the mercy of the rampaging inmates. Just ten minutes ago, we received this taped message. Greetings, Gotham! Joker here! Arkham is mine! So now at least man us a toll to the streets of Gotham. But first, direct your eyes to the rooftops and witness the final destruction of your dear Dark Knight. We've been circling the tower since the... Wait! There! Joker!
guys.
anything you throw at me, Bats. You can't beat me. I'm actually going to win. Ready for the next round? Always. What? I'll never let you win. <laughs> never. <laughs> CPD finally has control of the asylum. Doctors are treating the injured, but it looks like it'll take some time. All super criminals are back in custody. <laughs> Quite a mess in there. And the venom-enhanced inmates are returning to normal. Though for some, the process can be quite painful. Dad, how are you doing? I'll survive. See you tonight, Barbara. Shame about your car. Can I give you a ride? Thanks, Jim, but I have one on the way. Get some rest. You deserve it. Stay safe, Jim. The first game in the Batman Arkham series. It's been a blast playing it again for the second time for this channel. Um, I'm really gutted that I wasn't able to um, sort out how to do the ending of it until now. Um, but as I said, lessons were learned. I have got much better in um, recording gameplay these days. Um, because now I know that the best way to record gameplay without commentary is to actually go into Xbox Game Live instead of using the record shortcut. Because at least then I, there's a guarantee that at least then I can then make sure that there's definitely. animated series as well and other stuff too. Of course these days it's now Tyler Strong that's the go-to for Harley Quinn but Arnie and Sor Sorkin is a legend. There's no way and there's no way any voice actress could beat her. So yeah. I do have a feeling that Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League may not be a great game. I'm still going to play it regardless because it's the very last time we'll, e we'll ever get to hear Kim Conroy voice Batman, and it might be a, a different Batman to the most, especially because Kim Conroy is not the voice Batman. It comes across as if he's killed the goons that he's been fighting, but actually, they're just unconscious from all the fighting, so yeah, because Batman's never really killed, like at all. Maybe come close to it, but never properly killed. Um, making him one of, the, one of the best, if not the best people to have played Batman over the years. Yeah, of course, Greggs were involved with this game. I think they were one of the um, finances for it because this game came out before WB Games was a thing. Um, by the time Arkham City came out, um, WB Games was a thing and they then had a different sort of firm spot as a major video game publisher for a and direct in their opposition to what Disney are doing, which um, they decided to license out. To, license, to sell licenses to various companies and we start doing that in the game game since they had done for well, publish the games so yeah so yeah 
I don't think Rocksteady ever really knew how successful um, Arkham Asylum would be. I think this was always envisioned to be just one game, but with hints that there could be future games. Um, so yeah, of course there are hints, and I have, when I was playing this I did find hints as to uh, future games, in particular a cell that you can't go into in the intensive care I believe it is, uh, which I believe is where Jason Todd aka the Arkham Knight uh, would be seen, except he doesn't get brought up in the detective mode so who knows what happened there. Time is definitely the Scarecrow parts because Scarecrow is a pretty interesting character, and in all three um, and in all three encounters with him in the game, each one is similar, but a little. But the how they start is a little different. Like the first one, you discover that Jim Gordon, you think Jim Gordon has died, and obviously it's the ghosts and spirits of. Thomas and Martha way to find Twin Scarecrow's world. Then in the second account, uh, you get to in at the moment where uh, Martha and Thomas Wayne are shot by. I'm going to assume Joe and Shea is going to be the first one. getting a intended game over where you have to use the middle stick which of course doesn't exist so there you go yeah I think before I played Arkham Asylum the only I had known a fair bit about various Batman villains but the only one I didn't actually know until playing this game I think was Ask like I knew I knew Bane New Poison Ivy, New Harley Quinn, New Joker, New Scarecrow. Um, I knew a little bit about Killer Croc and the others as well. But Zask was the only one I. Oh, I know. Also, Zask was the only one I really knew that much about. finally record this and get this made for you guys for the 100th subscriber special. Um, it's not the only game that I've not managed to record everything from. The, I did miss out, intentionally miss out some bits in Arkham, in Arkham Knight. Um, I also didn't quite, do, didn't quite record the beginning of Hogwarts Legacy. And Bioshock 2 wasn't recorded in its entirety either, in particular the early parts of the, of the game. Um, which, so I might revisit those for later and subscribe to specials or, or maybe not. I'll just leave it as well. Because um, I did, because Bioshock 2 is alright for the game. It's not the best. 
meistens keine Worte, weil so einfach kann. dubbing people in. <laughs> but I think some developers do make the effort to um, try and sync the voices up to the to um, the movement of faces of mouths so that it does make out that they are talking in natural languages. However it's not always easy to tell, especially with games like Kingdom Hearts where it's a Japanese developed game and much of the um, dialogue doesn't match up with the voice with the mouth movements. Uh, it's no tapping. Same can be said for anime, it's usually, most is are dubbed, but it's, it gets a pass because it's usually dubbed, it's usually dubbed really well. Well, to the point that you can even, you don't even notice that the mouth movements might not be This is 3D and an anime, in which case you're kind of stuffed. Okay, so that is it. At long last, I've finished Arkham Asylum. This time, this time for real, and everything's been recorded now. I know this is going to feel a little inconsistent with the rest of the playthrough, but um, yeah, I thought I should do it with commentary this time because it is the hundredth subscriber special. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, um, especially those of you that have been subscribed to me for a very long time even during the period of time where I didn't really upload many videos thank you so much for helping me reach 100 over 100 subscribers um, hopefully hopefully it won't be long before I reach the next milestone but for now if you enjoyed the video please like share comment and subscribe see you in the next one peace to you all um, and do definitely check out more of Kevin Conway and Mark Hamill's work as the Batman and Joker because they are a great pair and one a few one of the few iconic pairings that um, refuse to work on projects that don't involve each other, which is the reason why Mark Hamill has recently said that he's retiring as the Joker because he just won't do it without Kevin Conway. And, well, Kevin Conway's not around anymore. So yeah, all right. See ya. <laughs>